During welding, harmful fumes are produced. Welding fumes can damage the health of welders. Welders who inhale too much welding fumes are at risk of developing asthma, bronchitis, COPD and cardiovascular diseases. Therefore, in 2010, the Dutch government introduced a new and more stringent legally binding limit value for the amount of welding fumes in the air at the workplace. This legal limit value for welding fumes at the workplace is 1 mg welding fumes per cubic meter of air, over an average working day of 8 hours. In practice, this limit value is often exceeded in many companies. Although companies do take measures such as ventilation of the room, mobile ventilation arms or units, or personal protection like dust masks or fresh air helmets, still the effect is not sufficient in many cases, for various reasons. Mobile ventilation units are not positioned close enough to welding area. The objects that need to be welded are too large. The welder is very mobile. Welding takes place in closed areas, such as in ships. Personal protection is used in the wrong way. In order to reduce welding fumes and exposure to welding fumes, it is recommended to take a measure directly at the source of the welding fumes. Therefore, a new welding torch has been developed. This welding torch has a fume extraction unit that has been integrated into the torch. A welding torch with integrated fume extraction is a very effective measure to reduce the welding fumes. However, combination with other measures may still be needed. The new welding torch with integrated welding fume extraction shows a substantial reduction of welding fumes. In the following situations, you will see the effect of welding with and without integrated fume extraction. First, you will see welding with a conventional welding torch without fume extraction. The welder demonstrates three welding positions. First, welding above the hand. Second, welding below the hand. and third, welding in a corner. The red bar and graph reflect the amount of welding fume that is inhaled by the welder. Now you will see welding with the welding torch with integrated fume extraction. Again, three welding positions are shown. First, welding above the hand, Second, welding below the hand. And third, welding in a corner. It is clear that there is much less welding fume, and thus the exposure to welding fumes is much less when using the welding torch with fume extraction. In order to reduce exposure to welding fumes, a correct use of the welding torch with integrated fume extraction is crucial. The new welding torch can be used in combination with a central system for exhaust extraction, or with standalone units for local extraction. Experiments done in TNO's test facilities using worst-case conditions show a reduction of the exposure to welding fumes of over 90% when using the welding torch with integrated fume extraction. Thus, exposure to welding fumes is significantly reduced when using the Translas 7XE extractor. The use of a welding torch with integrated fume extraction is an effective measure for the reduction of worker exposure to welding fumes, which is user-friendly for the welder.